Still photography in the day was such a fragile career. Everything was based on this little tiny piece of film. It could get scratched, it could be overexposed. And when you took a job overseas and you traveled over there and you had your assistants and producer and everything, it still came down to this tiniest piece of film. You know, when I think back on my youth, the camera was kind of always in my hand. My still photography opened doors for me, gave me so many opportunities and access to so many things through the years. And I think that focus on high action, that's what I love. That was what made me feel like a racer, even when I was shooting through the viewfinder of a film camera. At some point, 125th of a second wasn't enough to describe the zone I was in, in stills. And that's why I needed film. You know, I've shot nearly 800 commercials. Life was very fast at one point. I was racing. I was filming all over the world. Everything was action-oriented. I love that part of it, but then to come back to a place like this, I can jump in a car in the morning to go to town. It's a beautiful road, a winding road. It's just something really, really special. It's quiet, it's engaging. It totally does feel like home. Somewhere out here is Hayden. Hayden, come. Come on over here, Hayden, come. To be out here with the dogs and have Hayden here and Jezebel. These dogs were really made for the snow. They love it. Any dogs in this family have to love to travel by car. Dogs are a part of making a place Oh. They love the air moving around you and it's so fun to just take them and not be like precious with the interior of the car and everything. You've got the dogs in the back, you drive up in the mountains. Those are the kind of things I love because those are the things that dictate your pace. I guess I like that. I like when an old car dictates your pace. Come on, come on. <laughs> come on, Jess, let's go, come on. You know, trying to figure out the balance of life is, is tough because filmmaking takes you all over the world. And I think figuring out a balance, it's really helped to be in a place like this. And all of a sudden life slows down and the pace is completely opposite. And I love that contrast. Of, high action, driving on the edge to coming home to a place that's peaceful and serene, sitting high up in the Rockies. For me, driving is just complete freedom. And to be able to explore in a variety of cars that come from different eras, it just makes it something that is timeless. Trying to figure out how to balance life and business is something that probably is a work in progress. So now I'm at a point where you just say, I can't do everything. 
but what I do want to do is feel that car move under me. And the way that car moves and dances and powers up the road, that's the moments I want to capture, not just even in filmmaking, but in my own life. Moments of hauling down a dirt road, a road that is loose, what it really feels like to put a car absolutely on the edge of a mountain and driving it flat out on full boost. Those moments really make you feel alive and I love that.